So your homework tonight is numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 10. Okay. So today in class we added one thing, so I want to add one thing to my little reference sheet that I've been using. So we've been talking about angles on a straight line, add up to 180, vertical angles equal each other, right angles equal 90, and angles in a right angle add up to 90. But I also want to say now that angles in a circle, quote unquote circle, add up to 360 degrees. And that's what we started doing today in class. So if we look at number one, number one is really easy because I noticed that these two angles are right across from each other. They are vertical angles and vertical angles equal each other. So 72 equals this, x plus 15. So I can just write x plus 15 equals 72. I solve for x, subtract 15 from both sides, x equals 72 minus 15 is 57 degrees. Okay, so now the angle is, actually we don't even need to find the angle, we just need to find the value of x. So there we go, x, x equals 57 degrees. Number two, okay. Now number two, we have to first realize, hey, A is uh, the measure of this angle, and the vertical angle of A is this angle right here. This angle and this angle are vertical angles, they are equal, so we can call this A as well. Okay, so now we have a straight line, right? And all angles on a straight line add up to 180. 78 plus A plus 52, those are all the angles on the straight line. So if we did A plus 78 plus 52 equals 180. Combine 72 and 50, I end up with 130. A plus 130 equals 180. Okay, subtract 130 from both sides. End up with A equals 50. Okay, so this is 50 and this is 50. Okay, these are vertical angles. They would be the same thing. Okay, A equals 50. 50 degrees. Okay, then it says, is your answer reasonable? Well, I see that this angle and this angle look pretty close together, and this one we figured out would be 50 degrees. This one's 52. We could say this is reasonable. Based on the adjacent angle of 52 degrees. Okay, and there's our little reason, reason here. Number three, okay, so number three is a little bit tricky. We really got to look at it, okay? We see that there are two 90 degree angles. These are right angles, right angles equal 90. So this would be 90, this would be 90, okay? So if we look at what, how can we figure out, let's start with A, okay? We see that this is a straight line here, right? Okay? And if we add up A, 32, and 90, we'll be able to figure out A because we know that all these angles add up to 180. So if we have 90 plus 32 plus A equals 180. Okay? If we add together 90 and 32, we get 122 plus A equals 180. I want to get the A by itself, so I subtract 122 from both sides. I end up with A equals 180 minus 122 is 58. Okay, so this is now 58. All right, now we need to figure out what B is. Well, if we turn our paper this way, we can see that there's another straight line right here. Okay, and this angle, this angle, and this angle make up this straight line. So we could add together. 58, B, and 90, and set that equal to 180. So our second formula is going to be 58 plus B plus 90 equals 180. Okay. We add, we can combine 58 and 90. When we combine those together, we get B plus 148 equals 180. Subtract 148 from both sides, minus 148, okay? 
we left with B equals 180 minus 148 is 32 degrees. 58 degrees. Solved for both of them. Okay? So for these problems, we're figuring out what we can label and then fi figuring out where there is a straight line where we can set it equal to 180. Okay? Number four, two lines meet at a common vertex of two rays. Set up and solve an equation to find the values of x and y. So we want to find out what both of these are. So the first thing we need to do is look at what can we label? Oh, well, we see that this right here is 90, but it's really saying that this is 90. So it's whatever this angle is plus this angle equals 90. Okay, so these two together is 90. And this right, uh, right angle here is really saying that this angle and this angle, both of these angles together equal 90. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out how to get a straight line in here. Well, if we take 39, okay, plus x, okay, so here's the straight line. It took me a second to find it, okay. So this line right here, we're gonna, we're gonna flip our paper upside down here, okay. And we know that this angle right here is 90, based on this little square right here. So this right here is 90. So there's our, our one angle. Then if we add together 39 plus x, that's our other 90. Okay, and both of those end up equaling one. If you add those together, you get 180. So what I'm going to do is take my 90, which is this angle right here, and I'm going to add x, and I'm going to add 39 plus x plus 39, and set that equal to 180. Combine 90 and 39 to get x plus 129 equals 180. Okay, subtract 129 from both sides. End up with x equals 51 degrees. Okay, so this is 51 degrees. So now that we know that, okay, we're going to use this line here, another color here. as our straight line, okay? We know this angle is 51. We know this angle is y, that's what we need to find. And we know that this total angle right here, okay, this side and this side, this angle right here, it's a 90 degree angle. We wrote it over here, okay? So this angle is 90, this is y, and this is 51. All of those together, added up together, equals 180. So, we have 90, plus our 51, which we found here, okay, plus our unknown y equals 180. 90 plus 51, okay, equals y plus 141. So 90 plus 51 is 141. So bring down our 180. It's going to subtract 141 to do the opposite to get rid of it. Okay, those cancel. y ends up equaling 180 minus 141, 39 degrees. All right, as for number 10, number 10 is definitely the hardest, and actually I drew a little bit on here and then I realized that that's not the way I wanted to solve it. I actually found out, it figured out an easier way to solve it. So when we look at this diagram here, we have three angles here that are all labeled Y, and two angles here that are both labeled X. Then we have this angle down here that's labeled 18, and this angle right here just has this symbol on it. This symbol means this is a right angle. This means this angle is 90 degrees, okay? This angle and this angle are adjacent, okay? These angles are, are vertical, sorry. These angles are vertical, therefore we know, based on a, a reference sheet here, vertical angles equal each other, okay? So if this angle is 90, this angle must be 90, okay? Now we need to find a straight line, okay? Straight line. Angles add up to eight, uh, 180 so that we can solve this, okay? And if we use this line right here, okay, we can figure out both of our problems, X's and Y's. Oh, we need to label one other vertical angle. 
This angle right here and this angle right here are also vertical across from each other. So if this angle is 18, this angle must also be 18 degrees. Now we can figure out what x and y equal. Okay? So if we're going to work on x's first, all right, we're looking at this line. This angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle equal 180. So 18 plus 90 plus x plus x equal 180. Okay? I'm going to draw my line here. I'm going to do two, two equations. Okay? If we combine those together, 90 and 18 turn into 108 plus x and x is 2x equals 180. Subtract 108, subtract 108 on both sides. We're left with 2x equals 180 minus 108 equals 72. 2 times x, we want to do the opposite, which is divide. If we divide on this side, we must divide on this side. End up with x equals 72 divided by 2 or 36. X equals 36. So both of these angles could be 36. Okay. Now we can use the same line to figure out why. So we're just kind of going to flip her upside down here. Okay, and we look at it. Oh, we have this angle already labeled 18. This angle already labeled 90. And these three angles each labeled Y. If I add all of those angles up, they all fall on that line, it's going to equal 180. So my, four, or my equation will be y plus y plus y plus 90 plus 18 equals 180. Okay? We can combine our three y's to be 3y. We can combine 90 and 18, which we know over here is the same thing we did. We combined 18 and 90. 18 and 90, 108 equals 180. Okay, we're going to subtract 108 from both sides. Those cancel. We're left with 3y equals 180 minus 108 is 72. Now these two are being multiplied together. To, to get rid of it, we do the opposite. Divide by 3, divide by 3. y equals 72 divided by 3. 72 divided by 3 equals 24. So our y's are 24, 24, and 24. So if we wanted to check, we could really add up all of these angles, and we should get 360. Because, remember, all of the angles in a circle add up to 360. Okay? So if we add up all those, we've got 24, 24, 24, 18, 90, 36, 36, 18, and 90. Whew. So if we plug all those into a calculator, let's see if we can do this. Okay. We have 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 18 plus 90 plus 36 plus 36 plus 18 plus 90. 360 degrees. It works out. We are correct.